What's going on, everybody? This is Buckles Locker coming to you again with another video. Subscribe to the channel, like the video, make sure you hit the notification bell icon to notify all new videos that's posted on this channel. If you want to donate, you can donate to the channel if you like the content on Buckles Locker, Cash Out Buckles Locker, PayPal Buckles Locker. You know what it is for the one time, for the one time. Ah, man, it's just the news just keep getting more, just getting gloomy, man. It's just getting gloomy for sports in general, man. Just the NBA trying to, to make this bubble thing happen in the midst of a second wave or at the beginning of a second wave. I mean, just so much going on, but the effect on football, it's going to be tough, man. You know, it just... All it takes is one entity to start a trend or start, you know, you know, start something. And I came across a couple of videos and some articles about uh, a couple of conferences in the NCAA football adjusting the seasons. The Ivy League prestigious educational wise nobody really watches their football games really but people listen to the Ivy League decisions the Ivy League says no football no sports this fall period now mind you it's, people are like oh that's just the Ivy League trust me folks you think, if you don't think any of the other football or athletic directors of other universities are not watching what the Ivy League do, you are failing to realize how important the decision making is at that level. And then right after the Ivy League comes around and says no sports for the fall season, they think in the head. I can understand why they would make that decision. They don't want to be in the midst of all this. They don't want to. They don't want to put their student athletes in any danger. Right after the Ivy League did it, the Big Ten comes in and says conference only games. So, no non-conference games for the Big Ten. Now I'm just waiting to see what's next. Because this is the beginning of more changes, not only in the NCAA, but it will affect the NFL as well. They're talking about canceling the foot, in NCAA football season, having uh, football start, uh, I guess I guess you could say, like, workouts and everything start in January, you know, and have a couple games in the spring. I mean, so many different scenarios that they can do in the NCAA football, but... If you don't think this is going to affect the NFL, you're sorely mistaken. In some way, it's going to affect the NFL because NCAA football has thousands and thousands and thousands of student athletes. And then for them to make a decision to say in two conferences to make decisions, no fall sports in the Ivy League. And the Big Ten says no non-conference game. Now, non-conference games, you know... I guess you could say what two two non-conference games, one one or two non-conference games. So they're basically keeping everything in conference. They're trying to minimize the impact of the COVID nineteen. This is one of many changes that will happen. So imagine what the SEC, the ACC, the Big Twelve, you know, the Pac twelve, you know, the Mountain West, like all these other conferences got to be thinking to themselves. All, all the athletic directors got to be thinking to themselves, what do we do next? What do we do? And I know the NFL, the commissioner, he's sitting back and looking like, okay, the NCAA made some changes. Well, what do we got to do now? Now, the NFL are, are making their changes, but this is a, a living, forever changing decision making process. One decision that's made today can be changed next week. And these numbers, these COVID-19 numbers, this spike that we're going through, this spike, 
We're going through a spike right now because out of all the countries in America, and all out of all the countries in the world, we have been the most hard headed. Other countries have pretty much numbers are, are not like the America, America uh, or North America, or I guess you could say United States of America. The numbers have increased compared to the other countries because we're hard headed. We don't listen, and we want to we want to get sports involved. I don't know, folks. I want to see the season happen, but I'm telling you right now, do not be surprised. They go from 16 or 17 games, you know, I believe it's 17 games, but they go from a full season down to 75% of the season, down to 50, down to 25. I, I, it just it just looks like it's heading that direction, and I don't see a way that this can be stopped unless they can come out with a vaccine today. <laughs> or in the next couple of weeks, man, the NFL has already been impacted. They've already canceled two preseason games, but that was already in the process. But it's just the fact that they're trying to minimize it. But and they got all these different rules. You know, after the game, you can't exchange jerseys. And wait a minute, so you can play football for 16 minutes, blood, blood, sweat, you know, tackle, touch, and all this stuff. So what do you guys be playing in hazmat suits? Then after the game, you gotta go straight to your locker room after you tackled somebody for 60 minutes. It's weird, man. This this whole pandemic has caused so much confusion, so much indecisiveness. They don't know the, it's it's affect boxing. Major League Baseball will be affected. UFC, MMA, all of them are already affected by it. no people in the stands, and you think that the NFL is going to allow. 70, 80,000 people in a stadium every Sunday, you're sorely mistaken. It's not, in my opinion, that's not going to happen. I am leaning toward it's going to be a capacity controlled stadium. So for those of you that purchase tickets, be on standby to not be able to go to a game this season. Will you sign your waiver? I'll do a video on that in another time, but this is about the NCAA Making changes to the schedule. Big Ten and Ivy League has made some changes, and there will be more changes to be made in other conferences. Because I'm telling you, folks, I can see it now. When the season starts, it's going to be some breakouts amongst these student athletes if they decide to move forward with the season. And we're in July, and they already canceled fall sports in Ivy League. The prestigious Ivy League in the Big Ten got ahead and said, we're going to cancel non-conference games. Folks, I know everybody want to see the Bucks, especially with what we did, what we did this offseason. But I'm telling you, do not get your hopes at 100% that the football season is going to be a full season. Just be aware. Just have the mindset of this season can be canceled do not go into this season thinking that oh they're going to play football for all 16 games and playoffs just expect the worst you want it you want the season to happen but expect the worst because if you go in here thinking that there's going to be a season boy and they don't have one you're going to be hurt my expectations is i'm going to I'm, I'm expecting a lot of changes so we'll see stay tuned folks the NCAA is getting ahead of this. We're going to see what the NFL do, man. NFL sitting back and trying to figure it out. But the NCAA is said, we already own it. So, with that being said, this buckles locker, man. It's crazy, man. It's COVID-19. This pandemic, man. It's just r ridiculous. To all my bandits, pirates, and everybody across the Bucks family, man. Stay safe. Keep your family safe. Stay sanitized. You know what I'm saying? Just, man, I want to see football, but human life is more important. I want you to fire those cannons, seize the day, raise the flag, no risk it, no biscuit, Super Bowl or bust, if there's a season. Buckles lock out.